Hey, I'm Esther Kane with SeniorSafetyAdvice.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, before I go on, uh, click on subscribe, of course, at the end of the video. If you like the video, give us a like and send us your comments. But um, let's get on to today's topic, which is all about passwords and being safe and a new product that we put out, which is a password book. Now, uh, these days, you know, everything seems to have a password. So many accounts have passwords. And then not only that, you're really supposed to change the password every year or every so often. So how do you keep track of all of that? And on top of that, you know, the passwords are supposed to be a jumbled mess of letters and numbers and symbols. And it's very difficult to keep track of all of that. So there's no way, at least I can't possibly remember all the passwords of all the accounts that I have to keep track of. And it's true that there are a lot of gadgets out there that you can put your passwords on, you know, things as, you know, small as, as this, um, you can also, you know, keep it on your browser, on your computer, on your phone, your, your laptop. There's uh, programs, online programs, where you can keep your passwords in the cloud, where you can access them all the time. But the problem with anything that is online is that, of course, that it's hackable. Now, nothing is 100% secure, nothing. But um, for a lot of seniors, it's very difficult to uh, use a lot of those online programs and the fact that it's hackable and they're may, they may not be as tech savvy as the younger generation, um, it can be a little scary to keep your passwords someplace where you can't physically see them. So a lot of seniors, I know all many seniors that I, I know, um, use password books. So Robin and I thought, why don't we create our own specifically for older adults? So we created large print senior friendly password books. Now, we have six covers for our password book. It's the same book, but different covers, and I'll have a link to that below, but I have two of them here to show you. These two are two of our most popular password books that we've been uh, selling on Amazon. So again, I'll have a link to these below. But I wanted to show you what is so senior friendly about these particular books that we created. So in the beginning, uh, the front of the book, we made a explanation of how to use the book and a sample page, like what it would look like if you needed to, um, you know, if you went to fill out the pages, what kind of information to put on there, which I, which as we showed it to several people, did our own little focus group amongst our friends and relatives, and they helped us to design, you know, the information that, that goes on there, and we wanted to explain what it was in case for whatever reason, as you know, someone didn't quite comprehend it. The, um, the book is broken up into tabs of, with letters. Now each letter, each tab has 10 pages. So that's plenty of room for just about anyone to put all their accounts on here. Now, if you ran out, there are some pages in the back that have blank tabs. So you can put in your own letter if you needed more for the letter A. So it'd be something like uh, ABC Bank would go under the uh, A tab page and Google would go under the G tab page, things like that to help you keep it organized. Now each page, you know, gives you the option to put in the website name, the address, um, the username, password, the date that it was created, and then your um, three places for passwords. And the reason we did three places for passwords was because you're going to update the password. So we wanted this book to last a long time, not just buy it one year and then you need to buy it again the next year. So this way um, you can keep it for quite a few years as you update your passwords. And then of course, a lot of places now are asking for security questions and answers. So this is where that would go, security questions and answers. Now, a lot of you um, will remember your own security questions and answers, of course. So, well, once you see the question, you'll know the answer. But if anything were to happen to you and you weren't uh, you know, able to manage your affairs, whoever is managing your affairs, your adult daughter, son, whomever, you know, can pick up this book and they'll be able to go through um, everything that you have. And I can tell you as a widow, someone whose husband passed away suddenly, um, finding all that information that he had that was not in any one place was extremely difficult and cumbersome. And it certainly wasn't something that 
I needed to go through during such a difficult emotional time. So this is a great book to have to keep your information on. No matter what kind of password book you use, keep it somewhere where it's easier. Um, I tell all my friends, know each other's passwords because you don't want to go through what I went through. Um, all right, so at the end of the book, um, be, be past the uh, extra pages, the extra tab pages, we added a section there where, um, you know, you put your name and your uh, email address. And one of the things that I think a lot of people forget to write down or keep track of is their internet service provider, their router ID, um, you know, Wi-Fi password, um, computer repair person. I know a lot of times I help my mother-in-law with her computer um, and she uh, sometimes I need that router information or ISP provider and she isn't she doesn't know it I mean she's 99 years old so the fact that she's on a computer is really quite amazing so I, I think she's amazing but um, I thought this information would be useful for everyone so it's in the very back of the book now if you can tell a lot of the, well, a lot of it, all of it, the print is really quite large because it's just one page for one account. And we did that on purpose because we wanted the print to be large enough for most seniors to be able to see and write their information clearly um, on there. So, yeah, so we created these books. Um, they're quite large, as you can see. There's a, you can put a lot in here, just about every account and every password username information you can put on there there's six different covers that you can choose from they make for a great gift and it's a useful gift now the next thing i wanted to talk about these password books is you think well you know if you have your password in a book isn't that easy to be stolen well yeah i mean someone would have to literally break into your home and if they saw it then yes they could definitely steal it just about like anything that's not tied you know or bolted to the ground yeah they could steal it so I do hope that you have a security system in your home that would be the first line of defense um, I guess a dog would be the second line of defense but there are some places that I can think of where most people can basically hide their password book um, so that it wouldn't be so readily easily easily you know taken um, some of these places would be, of course, a built a built-in safe in your home. That would be, of course, the number one place to put it. You could put it in a safe deposit box, but then you'd have to get to the safe deposit box to retrieve these passwords. So that's not very user-friendly for a lot of seniors. Um, if you had furniture um, or desk or uh, you know underneath the dining room table, anything that has, you can create a false bottom or a false drawer. You can you know, certainly hide it in there. Um, there's no text on the spine of any of the books. So if you put this in with a lot of other uh, books in your bookshelf, no one would know that this particular book or, or this particular book you know is a password book. So they would pass it by most. People, most thieves, I don't think, steal books unless they're uh, first edition type of books. Um, you could hide it, of course, in the very back of the pantry, maybe inside a cereal box or, or any kind of box, mashed potato box, you know, whatever. Uh, you could hide it inside a box photo frame, uh, inside a fake potted plant inside your home, or even inside an empty paint can. Just Make sure to remember which paint can it is that it's in there and if you have an array of uh, paint cans. So you could hide it in certain places as long as you remember where you hid it. But um, so it's not right out in the open. But hopefully you have a home security system that can keep your home and your valuables protected and yourself too, keep yourself protected. Well, that's all I wanted to talk about today was the password book. We're going to be coming out with several other books, um, probably the beginning of next year. If we can get to it by the end of this year, that will be good. But we have a lot of projects going on. So, um, so be um, aware of that. I'm going to have a link again, like I said before, at the very bottom uh, to all six password books. They're very inexpensive. So Please feel free, you know, of course, we'd love it if you buy one and give us a review, let us know what you think. And uh, of course, you know, give us your comments on this video and 
don't forget to subscribe. We love all our subscribers and we're very grateful for each and every single one of them. Well, I hope you guys are all safe and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Take care and see you next time. Bye.